Hello everyone, today I'll be showing you on how to use our brand new response manager feature for Google Forms. So starting off, I have already created a Google Form for an available work schedule, and I've created a question for each option. So this one uses multiple choice, this one uses checkboxes, this one uses multiple choice grid, and then this one uses checkbox grid. From here, I made three responses, and you want to make sure before your clients make responses that you have allow response editing turned on in order to be able to use this feature. And this feature is available for both form response limit and form limit timer. So if I were to go to form response limit, I can use the response manager and the same would go for form limit timer. After I have some responses and let's say a client reaches out to me or I want to change the time for a certain day, I'll just go to uh, click on form response limit and then click on response manager. From here, it will show each response made. And as you can see, I, I can view it by clicking on the I symbol and I'll be able to view the Google form itself, uh, what they chose, what times and everything for which option. And then I can also delete it. And but then also I can edit it. So by editing it, it won't change the amount of responses made. It will keep the same amount of responses. So right now I have three responses. So if I were to edit this question right here, this this submission right here to this. And if I were to come back and then refresh this, the amount of responses wouldn't change. If you have a lot of clients and you're trying to find a specific response, you can go to select search field and then you can search through either each question. For example, this is one of my questions, Monday, Tuesday, the multiple choice grid, which was one of my questions, or you can search through email and timestamp. So if I were to choose email and I were to search up only responses that contain the email at test.gmail.com it'll only show the email that fits that description and you could do it with timestamp too and the same for all of the questions themselves